Hi guys, it's Dr. Ryan, and today we're going to talk to one of my patients who's been a patient for several years, David, and he's going to tell us a little bit about his experience being a patient in the clinic. So David, why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, you know, some of your hobbies, your family situation, what you do. Sure. Um, yeah, my name's David, and I'm up here in Portland, Oregon. I'm project manager, CAD designer. I, I run a lot. I, I run trails, married, three kids, all in doing our own um, activities. So it's kind of chaos at times. So what are some of your kids activities? Um, my daughters both play softball and my son does track. Okay. Well, uh, let's move on. So what I'd like for you to do right now, David, is to think back to when you first were evaluating options for uh, clinics um, about two or three years ago, right? And kind of uh, remember the mental and physical state that you were in. Kind of go back to that and kind of tell me what were some of the problems that you were trying to solve? Like, what was your mental state at that point? What was your physical state at that point? Mainly, I, I was, I had very low energy. I mean, I worked out as much as I could, but during the day I would like find myself like nodding off at my desk and needing to like just because my my truck was parked in a um, parking garage so I could go there I'd take a nap in the middle of the day just because I was just dragging and it didn't matter how much caffeine I drank it, I was super tired all the time and then that led into just being being like short-tempered irritated with you know just family life and work life so it just kind of caused a little um, turmoil so we'll say so outside of energy were there other symptoms that you're experiencing at all? um it was it was kind of hard to like after a race it was like hard to like recover it would take me you know three or four days to actually feel normal again you know daily activities and stuff i was fine but just yeah those longer endurance type stuff just really took a toll on me i can kind of imagine how that affected your career and your family dynamics but can you give me some specific examples of how it how it affected them yeah like, um like since i'm a project manager it was you know just day-to-day -day tasks mm -hmm. there's those things are stressors as it is and then being fatigued on top of it so it's like short with my my, my crew and people that need to to supply me with information and things like that and then at home it was just like even just like choosing what's for dinner it was like just another irritant like it was just like everything was just like more stressful than it needed to be yeah i figure being a father to the three, three children there's always going to be events and, and obstacles you have to overcome so that must have been it must have made it made it made it a lot harder to to deal with well so one thing that's really important to me i i don't know if you're familiar with wayne dyer he was a counseling psychologist really big motivational speaker he uh, had a program called the no limit person which i'm a big fan of but uh, one of his beliefs is that your thoughts and feelings are very very important because they lead to your actions which ultimately lead to your outcomes right and so because your thoughts thoughts and feelings are so important how, what were you what were your feelings like at this point like what were some of the thoughts that were circling around your head prior to joining the clinic i guess it was like nobody's really going to understand i guess like those type of feelings where um everybody has problems so why like why express my own type of feelings so it's like you know definitely always always frustrated about something and it's just you know when your kids start telling you that you're not very nice or you, they tell my wife that i'm not nice then you know there's an issue okay well i mean these things kind of led up to probably some sort of inciting event or was it just like a, con a conglomeration of all was there an event that made you say hey enough's enough i need to go ahead and look for a provider look for a clinic well it was more I, I i was at a race and i had a friend that already worked with you and so on our way back i was just kind of telling him like how i was feeling after the race plus like home life issues and this is a really good friend of mine and he's like hey have you uh thought about checking out suma and seeing what they're about and i'm like so you, it's it's a 10-hour drive from what where the race was so we had plenty of time to go through like what he was doing with you and all the positives that he saw so i came home and it probably took me a day the next day i, I emailed you guys so yeah i remember that so, I mean, I guess your process of joining is a little bit different than the typical patient that isn't referred in, but everyone has obstacles to joining or starting a, a program, a longevity program, hormone optimization, therapy program, supplement program. What were some of the obstacles you had? I mean, despite the, you know, your, your friends glowing reviews, of course, which thank you for that, but uh, what were some of the obstacles that you had personally to maybe 
maybe think of may, make you think about it a little bit longer although it didn't seem that long good right i know um it's i guess there's more of just like is this the right course of action i looked at like my supplements and things like that because you know we're all spending money yeah. on something so it was just like i'd rather spend the money and and have somebody tell me the benefits of certain supplements and other and what i'm taking versus you know what i'm not taking it's like just the direction is what really what i needed yeah that's really important you know we budget for things we always want to invest in things that we think we're going to get a good return right return on our investment right. and so yeah I, I totally understand the the time that you t uh, took to mull that over that decision over was there something that about the clinic or myself that just made you say yes right away or was there was there like a combination of factors that made you think hey dr ryan's physician for me and the clinic this clinic is the clinic for me and i'm not even gonna think about any other options i guess it starts with the the, the interview with jd is super welcoming super <laughs> friendly answered all my questions i mean any question i had i was you know any concern like what am i looking at you know and he was able to actually answer all the financial stuff too and then that got me into a meeting with you and it's like having i mean i know you're doctor and everything but it's like having a friend really oh. to that i can contact anytime i need and just with any random question i'm sure you get asked silly questions all the time but you're always super friendly and get right back and it's like like okay i'm doing the right thing or i need to adjust here and it's, it's great that's what I, I i i guess i look for in like a coach and a team yeah. team member so well you know i mean i i just think that you know in in order to get the best information from my patients or i like to run to them really as clients i having a welcoming pleasant manner always works being positive and being solutions oriented is always key so i do appreciate you um you recognize that so that's very good very good so why don't we transition to the present so after joining the clinic what are some of the changes you noticed in your in your mental state and your physical state well almost immediately it was i just had more clarity and focus at work so i could see see that and then Probably within a couple of months, even my wife was saying, the kids are asking if you're okay because you're extra nice. <laughs> and I'm like, I really, I'm not yeah. trying to be extra nice. Mm -hmm. I'm just, you know, not as irritated and agitated. So, and then also like workouts, um, those progressed even better and more. And this is before I did the lean for life with you. Mm -hmm. And so the volume that I was able to do was a lot more and the races, I was actually able to recover twice as fast. So, I mean, what I do is it does actually take a day or so to, to feel better, but that's just because of the race type. So, but still the, the recovery time is, is much quicker. Well, I'm going to take this opportunity to kind of brag on you. Uh, you kind of referred to lean for life, which is the clinic's proprietary diet and workout program, but man, you have just seen, I've just seen some incredible progress where you were when you started in the program and afterwards, and this is just ridiculous, man. Your body fat has just improved dramatically. I mean, you could potentially step on stage in a couple of weeks if you want. To. Uh, really, yeah. really amazing. Yeah. I don't know if I have that kind of confidence, but yeah, I, I have plenty of confidence compared to where I was. Yes. And I also want to take a look at some of your lab values because I am just really amazed at the changes you made, particularly in your lipid panel. And you can already see that your total cholesterol has dropped significantly, your LDL, long triglycerides. Why don't just kind of graph those right here? You can kind of see this. And it's just amazing. You started, uh, your total cholesterol is 190 or so, and it dropped down in the 150s. Your triglycerides have significantly dropped as well. They're in the 140s and they've gone down about 70 or so. And then here's, I guess your testosterone is also superimposed over here. It's quite low when we started. It was right. uh, just about, honestly, it's like, was it really that low? Your free test? Yeah, it was about 39. Right. And we kind of got it up to a much better level in the 200s. Right. So right. I'm, I'm really, really happy with that. So kudos to you. You've made some excellent progress and radically reduced your risk for, for heart disease, for stroke, but at the same time, really optimized some of the key hormones, which is really, really cool. So let's kind of talk a little bit then about you kind of mentioned some of the changes generally in terms of your mental and physical state, but how did that impact you at work? So first, let's talk a little bit about your career. How did that affect your career as a project manager? Well, it actually allowed me to actually take more 
on. So as I worked through the months, I wasn't as tired. So I was getting actually extra things done that I wouldn't normally. The reward for doing great work is they give you more. So additional projects on top of that. And then so the, at the end of last year, I actually got a promotion. So that's a kind of a good bonus and for the family and, you know, and yeah. confidence at work as well so yeah i know with more responsibility everybody's like oh man you know, there you are you get more projects but with more responsibility it comes more control and more right. control of your both your your hours your job but also you know your destiny because you become much more efficient and much more hireable if you want to move to a different position or, or grow within your company so that's that's really awesome right. and then let's talk a little bit about how it affected your family dynamics and again you kind of alluded to this you mentioned your kids are kind of like oh wow dad's a lot nicer but anything else that you noted well mainly for like my son my my daughters have always like played sports since they were like five but um my son actually started doing the same races as i oh. i do he started off in the kids section and this year this last year sorry he did his first adult race now that he's 15 so he was right next to me the whole time did great you know so he was uh super excited so it was uh it was a good dad moment you know like, yeah. to see him to see him struggle a little bit, but overcome it. And uh, it, yeah, it was, it's fun to, to do things with them. And now that they actually, you know, they want to do things with me. So, yeah. Yeah. So it really increased the you know, the bonding between you and your your children. And you're able to establish some really awesome memories, which I'm sure he'll remember for, for many, many years, which is, which is really, really cool. Yes. Are there any other benefits outside of uh, the ones that you mentioned that you noticed when you started the clinic or you've been a patient for a couple of years with the low testosterone it was like you know my wife and i were obviously not very close and mm -hmm. that that has definitely changed and so it's she's seen a an improvement in attention and um and and things like that so yeah it's 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 helped the the family just as much as it's helped me well that's wonderful because you know what's good for the goose is good for the gander and you know i'm glad i'm really happy you're able to strengthen that relationship which you know trickles down to the relationship with your kids because if your wife's happy she's going to treat them well better too so that's yes. that's really awesome okay so just to kind of end on on this last question what would you tell someone who's watching this testimonial now and is, and is in your situation and suffering from some of the same problems you have but is uncertain about joining the clinic what would you tell that person i've, I've actually sent a couple of friends your way and, and one did actually sign up. That was great. Yeah. Um, and and what I told them is just just to call and listen, like you know, talk to talk to yourself, JD, and just like and, and see what I see. Right? It's it's easy for me to be like, no, it's great. See, here's like you know, like the pictures, like before and after. Those and everybody loves those. But it's like it's, it's definitely a team, right? It's like it's not like you just telling me what to do and I follow it. It's just like converse back and forth. And yeah, it's just to to pick up the phone, send an email, whatever you need to do, get get in touch with you guys and they'll understand that they're not alone. They don't have to be alone. There's a whole community of people as well, like myself, that you know, we're, we're always available to you know, that. It's great. Yeah, I, I kind of view myself more as a as a trusted advisor rather than a physician, as a friend, <laughs> even yeah. sometimes as a colleague, because, yeah. you know, I, re I fully recognize your results are primarily due to your effort. I'm just giving you some advice and uh, right. some help in terms of supplements, medications, and, and so on, Just putting you on the right path. But really, a lot has to be said for all the effort you put in uh, to make the changes that were that you manifested, which is really, really great. Well, David, thanks so much for your sharing your experience with the clinic. And uh, yeah, happy as to. I mentioned, really appreciate having you as a patient. Yeah, thank you very much.